Hello everyone, welcome to another part in the Remaking Door series. Today what we're going to be learning how to implement is lighters. Today we're going to be learning how to set up a lighter in our game. Uh, this is a lighter tool. We're not actually setting it up yet where we can find them in drawers. We're just making the lighter tool today. So first things first, you want to go ahead and get the uh, doors lighter model from here. So you're going to go into toolbox and you're going to look up lighter in the toolbox and you're just going to insert the first one and it should be the doors uh, lighter model. This will also be linked in the description. So first things first, go ahead and delete the animations folder. Um, then next thing we're going to do, hold up. So let's go ahead and start setting it up. So first things first, let's go ahead and insert a folder. We can rename this to scripts and we can insert a script into there and we can name this handler. So first thing we're gonna do, we'll say local scripts folder equals script dot parent, local tool equals scripts folder dot parent. Then let's um, just define everything we have. So we have local uh, effects folder equals tool when we put child effects folder local handle equals tool when we put child handle local lid equals tool when we put child lid local sparker equals tool when we put child sparker all right so now that we have all that, let's just go ahead and look at all of our stuff we have. So lid, all right, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to, um, we're gonna make another folder inside of the lighter and we're, this is gonna be named um, lids. So we're gonna take the lid, we're gonna put inside that and we're gonna name it, we're gonna name it to closed lid, let's see something, okay. Then we're going to duplicate it and we're just going to rotate it about 45 degrees and we're going to name this to open lid. Let me just make sure that this looks um, good. Drag it to where you want your lid to be opened. So if you want to like a little bit of an angle, you can do that. That looks good. Did I drag it the wrong way? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So we'll change that transparency to one and we will set the transparency of the closed lid to zero. And let me just go ahead and make sure that the handle will we'll delete the um, weld and the handle for the original lid. And we're going to go ahead and create a weld for both of these. So we're going to go to model. We're going to select the handle. Then we're going to control alt select open lid we're going to go to the model tab and we're going to click this create thing we're going to click the drop down we're going to say create weld and then we're going to do the same thing for the closed lid so now that should all be together let's go ahead and see and make sure okay good it is all right now let's actually get into setting it up so we'll say Oops, just hit the mic. Let me adjust it really quick. All right, put it up there. So actually get rid of this. Get rid of the uh, tool coin wave without lid. We're going to say, instead, we'll say um, local lids folder equals, and let me push this back. Capitalized. Lids folder equals tool, full, tool colon, um, colon, wait for child um lids then we can just enter and then we'll say local closed lid equals lids folder colon for child closed lid local opened lid equals lids folder colon we for child open lid and then we'll insert a value inside of the uh tool and we will name it um We'll name it uh, opened, so that will be set to false. So then we'll just define the last thing. We'll say opened equals um, tool colon wait for child opened. So now what we can write is we can say tool dot activated 
colon connect function and hit enter now what we will say is we say if opened dot value equal equals false then open dot value equals true else open dot value equals false so when we open it we will this will this will be for when we open it this will be for when we want to close it all right so first things first let's go ahead and make so we have an effects holder attach on attach off Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll say closed lid dot transparency equals one, opened lid dot transparency equals zero. Then we'll say um, this should be effects holder, not scripts holder. Then we'll say effects holder dot attach on dot fire particles dot enabled equals true actually we could just do this we'll say this for i particle in pairs effects holder colon get children do if particle dot class name equal equals particle emitter then particle dot enabled equals false and then we could just go ahead and do the same thing right here we'll copy this and we will just say um wait set this reverse it set this one a true set this one a false so if we go ahead and put this inside of starter pack and play we should be able to open and close it now and it just has very basic uh and the anything let me just set the transparency back to that and I just want to print particle found let's see because it didn't work so let's see what uh, let's see if it's actually printing well at least the lids opening closing but we want the hmm. oh it's because of oh effects holder dot attach on that's what you have to write not effects holder not effects holder come on, get children effects holder dot attach on is what you need like that and now it should enable and disable the particles yep it's like that I'm not really liking how that thing is showing up past the um hmm. we'll uh we'll figure something out but let's add the uh sound effect so we'll say um they should be in the handle okay so we'll say <clears throat> we'll say um handle dot sound open colon play and then we'll just copy this, put it right here, and we'll say sound close colon play. So now it should play the sound when we open and close it. And there you go. This sound, I don't know what this sound is, but it's just not there. Um, let's, we need the lights to um, display. So what we could do is we can make them, I think here, so this is range. Uh, all right, we could do this, we could say, Local tween service equals game cone get service tween service. Then we could say, um, I think 
before I light in pairs um, effects holder dot attach on dot I mean clone get children do if light dot class name equal equals what are these all point lights okay point light then um, local new local original value equals instance dot new um, int value and then we can parent it to the light so the actual lights right here and then we can set that original value dot value we can set it to the lights um, range and that should make it so that all of them have the original range value in the, let's see. Okay, let's not set it to an int value because if for some reason it's not, it's not working with decimals. So we'll just make it a string value. And we'll set the name of that to original value. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure that it works. Oh, not run actually, let me play. And if we look in our backpack, go to lighter on original value 14 0 0.2 bunch of numbers 0 0.3 6 okay alrighty so now that we have that let's actually tween it so we'll say um when we we'll do this we'll say Well, you can copy this and then you could just say instead of all this stuff you just say light dot range equals zero so we're setting all them to zero then what we could do is we could say for I light in pairs blah 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 we could say local original value equals light colon find for child original value so we're getting that original value and we could say Green service on create. Um, we'll do the light. Then we'll do queen info dot new. Uh, and then we can just do that. And then we'll do comma squiggly brackets and we'll say range equals original value dot value. So now that should, and then just make sure to play that. And then we'll copy this and we will put it down here. And instead of having it be that, we'll just say range equals um, zero. So let me go ahead and set this to nighttime so we can see it better. Uh, uh, hopefully we could find a dark room to test this out in. can't tell if it's working or not. Is there errors? Yep, okay. Range, 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 range. Okay, something is not working. Properties of flow and given type is a string. Um, I know exactly what's going on. So wait, let me see something. We insert a value. Oh, okay. All right. I know what to do. Change the original value to a string from a string value to a number value and hit play. Is that working now? Doesn't look like there's any errors. 
and make sure that um actually one other thing are these not enabled okay make sure that these are all enabled make sure that all of the lights inside of the um lighter are enabled And one other thing, let me just, so once we get the original value, we'll say wait, and we can say light dot range equals zero. All right, let's go ahead and open. Okay, we have a dark room, which is perfect. And as you can see, now our lighter can open and close and it lights up the room around us and it has a nice little um, tween you know it doesn't just make the lights appear it actually makes it like get bigger and then smaller so that is basically how you implement a basic lighter into your doors game not too bad of code uh, this model will be linked in the description the lighter model with all of the code in it will be linked in the description um and yeah if you guys have any suggestions or concerns please i mean if you guys have any comments or concerns please leave them in the comments below if you have any suggestions for the next episode please leave them in the comments below i saw this got suggested so i was like you know what make an episode on it um we will eventually be putting this lighter in the jeff shop and we will also make it appear in drawers to be collected just i wanted to make the actual lighter tool um first make it its own episode and so yeah if you guys have any uh you know anything at all please leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed the tutorial please like subscribe it really helps out the channel and i really appreciate it and as always i will see you guys in the next one